It's summertime here at the North Fork Table and Inn. That means it's time to cook some fish. I'm gonna be preparing two variations of fish for you this afternoon. First of which is an olive oil poached Atlantic halibut whom we're sourcing from Gosman's in Montauk, as well as a crispy skin Peconic Bay black sea bass that we're getting from Charlie at Southhold Fish Market. In order to get your fish skin nice and crispy, you have to make sure that a few things happen. First of which, your protein is at room temperature. Second of all, you want to make sure that the skin is very dry, so lightly dab it with a paper towel. Now, you season each side, a little bit less on the skin. Now to begin cooking, we have a pot on the stove filled with a little bit of olive oil. It's simmering at 165 to 180 degrees. Our fish has been seasoned. So the most important part with dropping the fish in the oil is to be extremely delicate as to not harm the fish. So you pick it up on a spoon or spatula and lightly place it in the oil. So we're gonna leave the halibut in there for between eight and 10 minutes until the flesh has become nice and firm and its color is bright white. Now it's back to the black sea bass. So we have a large hot saute pan on the stove with about an ounce of clarified butter in it. Since our fish is at room temperature, has dry skin and is properly seasoned, it's time to put it in the pan. So grab it in between your thumb and middle finger and tilt it. Now, we come over to our saute pan, making sure that it's on high heat, put it in the pan, lightly making a circle with your finger. Once you know that the fish is not stuck, drop it in, and press down just for 10 to 20 seconds. Give it a little move, and that's it. Next thing that we're gonna do for the black bass is to baste it with butter, thyme, and garlic. To begin this process, take your clove of garlic, smash it on the cutting board, and put it in your pan. Next step, a little bit of butter. Finally, a small bunch of thyme on the top of your fish so that the thyme doesn't burn. You tilt your saute pan back and spoon the butter over your fish. You hear that beautiful thyme crackling? It's my favorite sound in the world. You're ready to go. So to finish our plate, how we would serve it here at the North Fork Table and Inn, you slide the spatula under the fish, flip it over onto a towel, and then put it on top of a bed of braised, saffron braised fennel, pichelin olives, piquillo peppers, fingerling potatoes, and a little spicy clam broth with, with some fennel pollen. Now to finish up our halibut, with a fish spatula, Lightly pick the fish up from the bottom of the pan. Dry it off on a towel. And put it on any garnish that you love to cook, whether it's summer beans, or even a little salad with some arugula and strawberries. So these are a few of the techniques that we use here at the restaurant. When preparing them at home, it's important to keep your garnish simple. Use fresh local vegetables that you find at a farm stand. Use these few hints to help make your summer dinner party a huge success.